Hello and welcome to Flo's Crafty Crochet. Today we're going to be looking at how to create a dragon scale stitch in order to make little crocodile booties later on in the Monday Makes series. So for those of you who have signed up to the Monday Makes, this is just a little tutorial to give you some practice at how to create the stitch. So what you'll need is some yarn and a corresponding hook. It doesn't really matter what size you're using just for this little tutorial. But what you do need to do is you need to chain a multiple of six plus three. So for this little sample, I'm going to get you to chain 33. So one, two, three, So there we have 33. So now what you're going to do is you're going to put a treble in the third um, chain from the hook. So what I'm going to get you to do is put your yarn over first, count the third chain, one, two, three, and you're going to go in there and you're going to place one treble. So that chain that we have skipped, that's acting as a treble, so that's going to be two trebles together. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to chain two. You're going to skip two chains one, two, and in the next one you're going to place one treble. Then you're going to chain two again. You're going to skip two again, one, two, and in this stitch you're going to place two trebles. One, two, and again you're going to repeat that, chain two, skip two, one, two, and in here you're going to place one treble. And we're going to do this the whole way across to the end. So chain two, skip two, two trebles together, chain two, skip two, one treble, chain two, skip two, two trebles, and as I say you're just repeating that process until we get to the end of our chain. So I'm going to meet you whenever you have that done. So a dragon scale or a crocodile scale stitch all has the same. So it has a setup row, which is this one, which is row one. And then it has the dragon scale row, which is this one, which is row two. And you just repeat those over and over again. You do row one, your setup with your trebles, uh, your two trebles together, one travel on its own. And then the next row is the actual stitch. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn your work around and you're going to chain three. That chain three is going to act as your first treble. You're going to put your yarn over your hook and this first treble here, you're going to put your hook underneath the bar of the stitch. You're going to lift it up and you're going to pull your yarn through. You'll have three loops on the hook. You're going to put your yarn over and you're going to finish your treble stitch as you normally would have. You're going to do that four times in total so that you will have four treble stitches. Three, four, so when I have my fourth one done, I'm going to chain one. I'm then going to turn my work around so that the second treble is side on to me so that I can lift and turn my work so that I can easily get my hook underneath the bar. So there's the bar there. I'm just going to put my hook underneath and pull through and I'm going to put five trebles in this time around that bar. So essentially you're working over the top of the stitch that came in the previous row. So there's my five and then you turn your work back the normal way and you'll see that the dragon scale stitch is beginning to be formed. So those trebles that are on their own, they're for anchoring. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your hook into the top of the stitch and you're just going to create a slip stitch. Then you're going to move on to your next group of two. You're going to put your yarn over your hook and again working underneath around the back of that stitch. So you're working over the top of it from the previous row and you're going to place five trebles. Three, four, oh, five, and again chain one. Turn your work around so that you can get easy access to that next stitch and then work around that. 
Now it is very fiddly whenever you're first doing a dragon scale for the first time. And so that's why I recommend before you come to the Monday Make session for making the dragon scale booties, that you have a little bit of a go yourself and that you're confident then in making the dragon scale. So we're just going to do that the whole way across to the end. So every time you see two trebles together, you know that that's a scale stitch. So you do five trebles up one side, a chain one at the bottom and five trebles up the other side. Every time you see one travel on its own, that's an anchor stitch and all you simply do is into the top of it, you place one slip stitch and that pulls your scale down into place so that it doesn't move. So you're going to just continue that process the whole way across, making your little scales as you go. Okay, thank you very much for your time and I hope you enjoyed watching this video today.